everyone and welcome to a video that I feel like many of you really enjoy watching so happy to bring you a new one for this newest set here I have got Silver Tempest I just opened up my first booster box of this so I'm ready to start cleaning up the mayhem that results after a booster box opening I mean mayhem as you can see on the screen here it's basically just pack wrappers all up on my desk we have got my cards that I separate throughout the filming I mean it's not that much of a separation but I've just that's obviously the empty booster box but I've got the hits here for the recap and then the rest just goes in this big old pile so I've got to separate all of this we've got to separate separate out the reverses all the code cards the energies the commons the uncommons etc and we're gonna do so together so we're gonna make this this look a whole heck of a lot better. I also just need to clean my desk in general. Shame. Shame. Cat hair. Shame. So yeah, binder building. Like I said, I mainly, I just need to start separating out my cards, which I do in a very specific order. Like, I mean, I've already got my hits pile here, but all of the bulk, quote unquote, all of the commons, uncommons, all of that, that just gets stacked up in a big pile here. All of this I need to separate out. I need to separate out the reverses so I can sleeve those up. I separate out the commons and uncommons. So those get separated, the rares, the energies, the code cards I need to separate out to recycle. And also once I get that stuff all sorted, then I can start sorting by typing. Pokemon does do things by typing. Although now that I'm thinking about it, I suppose I don't even at this point, that's more when I've already built my binder that I separate out into commons and uncommons. But at this point when I'm building, I feel like I mainly just start separating out by type. Yes, actually I do. Cassie, good job. It's been a few months, okay? It's been a couple months, whenever Lost Origin was. Uh, but separating out into typings, so Pokemon does their sets by type, and as far as I know it's always the same, so it starts off with grass, and then it goes into fire, and then water, and then electric, etc, etc. So I start separating out all of the cards by that, and then once I get that all separated out, it's a, it's a long process, you guys. I mean, this really, it usually does take me two to three hours to do all of this. Um, hence, you're just getting the speed through version, but it is very satisfying once it's done. It can get a little bit tiring while you're doing it, but hang in there. It feels great once everything is all put together in the binder. And so once I separate things out into typing, then I can start separating it out by number. Pokemon numbers their cards, they number their sets. You can see it in the bottom left corner of a card. So like you can see there on this Petalil card, you can see the set symbol, you can see the artist, and then you can see the common symbol, the little circle there, the dark black circle, and then also the set number. So how many was it? 195, I think, of the set, and this is card number, number nine. So we're gonna start to separate these out numerically as well, since that's how I order my binder, is just the way that Pokemon does it. So everything goes numerically. It just, it it helps my heart, my organization heart. I'm, I'm one of those people that definitely, I'm half and half. Half of my life, I mean, no, I would say my life is organized. It, it's cluttered, <laughs> but it's organized. And uh, it would bother me to do my binder any other way than by the numerical order that Pokemon has created for their card sets. So get everything done through that. And then also picking out the cards that I wanna keep for my binder. Cause obviously, you know, cards like common cards, you get more than just a couple. When you open up a booster box, you're gonna sometimes get like five or six of the same common card. I don't know that you ever get more than that, especially in a set this big, but you know, it can happen. And for me, I like to keep three of each card in my binder, at least when it comes to cards that aren't sleeved. If they're sleeved, I can only fit two in there. That's just, I just like the snugness of the three cards. And so I pick out the three that I like best, the three that I think are the best centered, the three that I think have the least errors on them. You know, the print quality was good. There's no dings on the corners and stuff. I just, I like to keep the ones that look the best to me. So I also go through 
through and sort by that. And then, then we get into building of the binder, which I'm sure I'll just, I'll cut to that so we can actually see it in action when we can start sliding things into the binder together. All right, you guys, my apologies if things look any or all completely different here. Obviously my nails and my shirt and stuff have changed. This is a week later. <laughs> No, it does not take that long to build a binder. However, when you are waiting on the mail to come, sometimes it does because sometimes Amazon screws up and sends you the wrong product. But the time has come and although Silver Tempest turns out to not be that snowy of a set, like almost at all, they kind of advertise it as such. So I wanted a snowy binder to go with that. Uh, so here we have uh, one of the newer Ultra Pro nine pocket binders. These are the ones that I use. I love when they make these themed ones. I mean, it's clearly just like copy paste art <laughs> of the Pokemon and stuff, but I still like it. So these are the binders that I use. They're the ones with the black in the background and the side load. So. These are the binders I use. These are my cards all sorted out. I have got my sleeved cards that I'm sure I told you, but just in case I didn't, I sleeve differently. Uh, if it's a hollow, I just put in one of the quote unquote penny sleeves, if you will. They're actually the perfect fit sleeves. They're my favorite sleeves from Japan. But if it is something like a radiant card or a V card or a Above in rarity, I put them in these sleeves that I got for free from a site that I used to order cards from. I really like them. I like the black background. They go nice with the binders and I just think they feel, you know, like a little better quality and they just look a little fancier. If I happen to get a duplicate of something like a V card, I would put one of them in the black sleeves and then the duplicate I would put in a perfect fit sleeve just to slide behind. But as far as I know, I didn't have any of that happening in this booster box. Uh, but those are all of my sleeved cards. I've got all of the commons and uncommons and non-hollow rares in the stack there in order. And then I have got the reverse cards as well, all put in order and ready to be put in the reverse section of my binder. These I also just put in the perfect fit sleeves. So those are my cards. I also, I don't even know if it's on screen or not, but these were just the duplicates after going through the cards. Uh, like I said, I only keep three of them. So these are the ones that I had duplicates of beyond those three. So now we get into the portion where I need to employ some little baby sticky notes and a pen and this is where I'm filling up my binder. So I'm gonna be going through and putting all of the cards in numerical order, just like they are in the set. Let's see, I think you can see decently well here, but I will, like I said, just be taking these cards and putting them in order. So along with this portion, I just go on to Collector, as you can see on the side of the screen. It's just a free website that allows you to keep track of all of your cards. So you can log in. There are a lot of ads, I'm telling you up front. However, it's got all the different sets here that Pokemon has ever come out with or created. And then within that, you can click on the one that you are about to fill up. So I will be doing Silver Tempest. They also recently started separating out the trainer gallery from the set. I don't love that, but it just is what it is. But so you can click on the set that you are looking to go through. It tells you how many cards are in the set, when it was released, and then how many of the cards you have and how many more you need to get. So click out of the ads and then you can start going through so you can see which cards are in the set, as I said. And then as you are filling out the binder, let's just go through it. So I've got all of my grass commons and uncommons and whatnot. So number one in the set is the sad little Venonat, or maybe he's happy, you know, that he's being shielded from the rain. He found some shelter, but I'm just gonna slide him in there. And then as I go along, I can also click that I do have the card on the website. Then we have Venomoth here. I've just got two of him, which usually happens with the 
uncommons. You know, you're not going to get the full set out of one booster box. Uh, you can just tell at the bottom here, it says what number the card is, but of course, like I said, you can also look on sites like Poe Collector if you want to keep track and also mark off what cards you have and what you still need. So I'll need to leave a space here for Eridos because I didn't pull him in the booster. And then we can move on to Sunkern, this little cutie patootie, such a good card. But as you can see, even the commons, I didn't get three of him. It just in bigger sets like this, that's kind of bound to happen. We also got Sunflora. So I mean, you can also tell within the grass typing, Pokemon also keeps them together in evolutions if they are in the same type here. So another way you can kind of keep track. But number six, then we have number nine, so seven, eight, nine for Petalil. And then we can slide that in, make sure we have checked off the cards that we got. I can put these other grass cards to the side and then I can go in with my sticky notes and you don't have to do this. This is definitely extra. I just enjoy doing it. It is very satisfactory for me. Uh, we're going to label these slots that don't have cards yet. So First off being, okay, maybe my pen isn't the greatest, but we have Ariados. This is number four in the set. So we will just peel off our sticky note and then we will put it there. And ah, oh, lovely, we love to see it. Well, we don't. We wanna complete the binder, but for now we love to see the labeling. We also didn't pull a Superior V card, which is number seven. Peel that off, and then to go along with that, we did not pull the Superior V-Star. So, Superior V-Star number eight. And, ta-da, this is literally what I do for the whole binder. So, that is what I'm going to continue to do through a fast-forwarding effect, because <laughs> that would be very boring to what, I mean, this takes a couple hours, you guys, usually, to do. So, we shall see all of this labeling with these bigger sets. It just, it takes longer, but it is what it is. I love doing it, and I especially love the outcome. So, here we go. <laughs> have done the beginning portion, the main portion, and the trainer gallery. Now I can go on into my reverse cards here for the binder. And basically this is just the same as the beginning, except at this point I have lost interest in sticky notes. This is how it always happens. <laughs> It's like I said, I love the ending result. I just, once I get like halfway through, I'm kind of, no, I shouldn't even say that. Once I get to the full art section where like every single slot, I need to label it, I'm done with sticky notes. 
So for now, I'm just going through and I'm just gonna leave empty slots for the cards that I don't already have and then I am also making sure to be vigilant and uh, just make sure that I don't leave a slot for a card that doesn't exist, aka things like a V card or a V star. Those will never, or I shouldn't say never, but those currently do not have a reverse hollow form. So really the only cards we are leaving space for here or putting in here are commons, uncommons, and then your hollow cards. So those are the only ones you need slots for. I hope I am not misspeaking there, but I think those are the only cards that you should get a reverse for. It will never, actually again, not never say never, but as of right now, no V star no V's, no full arts, no V maxes. Those do not have reverses. So let's go ahead and do this portion of my binder. So Spinarak is the first one that I have, number three. The first two cards will be Venonat and Venomoth, so I'll leave slots for them. Then we can go ahead and slide our Spinarak in. We will have Eridos, Sunkern, Sunflora, normally Superior V and V Star, however, those don't exist. Like I said, so Petalil, Hisui and Lilligant, Fungus, Amungus, Durant, Verizian. Oh, the Radiant cards also don't exist in a reverse, so we will skip what normally would be Chestnut V and Radiant Serena. So Vulpix, Ninetales, Growlithe. Arcanine, Ponyta, Rapidash, Victini, Reshiram V doesn't exist in a reverse, but then we have Fennekin, Brakeson, which I have, yay! <laughs> Keep our spot there, and then Delphox, Fletchinder, Talonflame, Litten, Toracat, and we will go on and on until I get to the end. I'm likely to mess up this way, but eh, it happens. <laughs> and I just got done, this never happens. So usually I'll have to, in bigger sets like this, use a couple extra loose pages that typically would go in a three ring binder, just added to the back. And usually it would be like, you know, there's one or two extra cards that I need a page for, which is very annoying. This one actually ends right here. So that's great, you guys. This is our, com well, complete. This is what a binder can look like and will typically look like after opening one booster box of cards. So you can get an idea of kind of how far your money does or does not go with this, you know, however you're gonna wanna put it. I personally, I love opening up booster boxes. I love doing my binder like this so that I've got the marked sticky notes that come off really easily. Like I said though, this is kind of what you can expect. You're still gonna be missing some cards here, mostly V cards, hollows, V stars, that sort of stuff. But for the most part, you know, you've got the majority of commons and uncommons. It really, for the most part, looks the worst <laughs> once you get to the full art section where it's just... <laughs> I don't know that I've ever had a set where when I do my binder, I've got two whole pages. Usually I've got like one out of the two whole pages, but seeing two whole pages like that, that hurts. Um, it almost happened twice, but at least I got that rainbow. <laughs> That's good. And then also trainer gallery here. It's hurting. I only got four of them out of that booster box. But then we also, I just put my reverses at the back. You're only going to get at the most 36 of them because you get one per pack, but then the trainer gallery takes up a slot. So you're definitely not going to fill up your reverses, but I personally think it's fun to do so once you open up more sets and whatnot of cards. 
ones. So just to be able to show you guys the satisfaction of adding in cards to the binder here. Like I said, it has been a week, so my boyfriend and I over the weekend opened up another booster box, so I was able to get some new cards or, you know, some extra cards to add to the binder. Unfortunately, nothing up front here, but we did get another Lilligant. We also got a couple Amoonguses. There you go, buddy. Trust me, it is so satisfying peeling off that sticky note. If you don't believe me, give it a try. Seriously, you never know until you try, and it really is. It's just, it's a good feeling. We also got this chunk along. Peel that off. So happy. We got a couple more Arcanine to add in. As I said, I like to do it in threes. That was very messy. I will not be able to live with that. There we go. We got another Rapidash. And look at this. We were able to complete these two pages of the binder. Woo woo, that feels good. Another Del Fox. Yeah, doesn't that look nice? We also got another Talonflame. Incineroar. Melodic, melodic, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Frost last. Looks like we got a couple of you, baby. Another Keldeo, proud of his butt. We got Zara Aura to slip in there. We got the Regilecki V Max to slip in there. And we also did get the Radiant Alakazam. What a great card. Slide that in there. So we got another couple of pages of the binder full. That's wonderful. Gardevoir. Reuniclus. Yay! Armaldo. Crobat. So these two pages are almost done. We just need a pile of sand. We also were somehow able to pull the other Radiant card that I needed. We got the Radiant Jirachi! So cute. Love, love, love it. I was so happy when I pulled that card. Cling Clang. I got the Dragonite. What a beautiful artwork by Kimura. So happy to have pulled that guy. Another couple of Noivern. Zygarde. We got the Reggie Drago V. Whoop. Oh, I actually pulled two of them. That's right. I was a little bummed about that. But we got another Art Chops. We got another Braviary. The Earthen Seal Stone. The Superior V Full Art, gorgeous. So almost another full two pages, that is great. Look at this precious baby that I also pulled, so happy. So we finally, we get to fill up at least one part of these two sad pages. Uh, unfortunately, that was it though. <laughs> in terms of that stuff, but I was able to pull a gold card. I got the V-Guard energy, which is great. I love the golden energy cards, so that will happily slide right in there. And then I was able to get some trainer gallery cards. The Melodic, Melodic, Potato, Potato, Tomato, Tomato, Welcome Home. We got the Gardevoir, beautiful, as well as the Smeargle. Let's add both of these in. Oh, I thought Smeargle was on this page, but either way, yay, happy additions. And then we can add in Smeargle. Shoop. I got the Corviknight VMAX. There's that guy. Very funny. And I got Mr. Raihan. So we did very well on the trainer gallery. That's for darn sure. At least I think we got some good pulls there. And then we can just go ahead and fill in our reverses as well. No satisfactory sticky notes, but like, oh, I can't wait to throw this chunk in the recycling. Sunkern, Kisween Lilligant, Ponyta, Talonflame, Whalmer, Jupiter, Raichu, Chincho, and Lantern. Very nice. Ralts along with Curlia, Meditite, 
and Chimcho, Chimeco, however you're gonna wanna pronounce it. I think it's probably Chimeco. I honestly think I pronounce it both ways. Slurpa, Donphan, and Clay Doll, as well as Terrakion. Stonejourner, Zubat, Krogunk, Clink, Noibat, and Noivern, Smeargle, Altaria, Lopunny, Unidentified Fossil, holy crap you guys, Regenerative Energy, and V-Guard Energy. I don't know that that has ever happened before. Not only the fact that, like I said, it ended perfectly, but that I didn't get even one duplicate uh, Reverse Hollow. That's actually really amazing. I love, it's one of those things, I don't actively purchase cards to fill up my Reverse hollow section of my binder but I do love seeing it fill up as I open packs and whatnot I don't know why it brings me such joy but it really does so there we go after two booster boxes I hope you guys enjoyed I know like I said it's a little daunting it's a big project to do your binder but it's a lot of fun if you enjoy organizing and it's even more fun if you're like me and you enjoy collecting the cards cards and you enjoy seeing them all organized like this. This is my favorite way to look through my cards is to have them all collectively in their binders for each set and just seeing everything put together brings me so much joy. So I hope it was joyful for you all to stick around and watch me put this together. Thank you very much for doing so. You can definitely leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below how you do your binder and any tips or tricks you may have for me, and just let me know how you're doing. And also, you can subscribe if you're new here, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff. And as always, I hope you guys are all doing well, and until next time, and the next set, stay well until then. Bye!